West Coast are fishing. Today we're going to be out here in Santa Chinla targeting rockfish in the lake cod. Hopefully do a uh, catch and cook later maybe and uh, it's going to be a good time. <laughs> out here, out here with my buddy Justin. He's using a uh, pink buzz bomb with a 5,000 size reel on a medium heavy action spinning rod. Got some 20 pound mono on there. It's a pretty good setup for rockfish. I have a big white swim bait on here with a three ounce jig head, I think. Some little bit of wire leader on 30 pound braid with a 10 battle 4000. It's a pretty good rod, ugly stick, pretty good setup. So today, we're just gonna be drifting along this rocky shoreline here. It's about 70, 80 feet of water. What you wanna do is just drop your bait straight down to the bottom, reel up about one crank and start jigging. If you feel anything, let it nibble, but as soon as you think you got it on, you want to really get it out because it'll swim back into a hole and then you have to try forever and wait for it to get out. So as you can tell, we're really not that far from shore. What you want to look for is kind of like a rocky shoreline. You really don't have to be too far off. It's 75 feet right here. And you just want to drift along the rocky shore, drop your bait right to the bottom and you more often than not get hit. Sometimes a twitch retrieve, sometimes just straight jigging is pretty good. Uh, on your depth sounder, if you see like varying bottom, that's usually where those fish like to hang out. Uh, lane cod are more on ledges and the rock fish are more just in between the ledge and the sand. So if you see rocks and then sand, it's a pretty good place to stop. So we've been fishing here for 45 minutes, haven't had any luck so far. Made a little move into a bit deeper water, 155 feet right now. Gonna drop the baits down and see what happens. So I'm hooked up right now. It's something pretty big. It's doing some head shakes. Usually that's what ling cod do. Probably is a ling. Then try to get it up here. Oh, oh man, she's tugging. We still got a ways to go in this fight. Oh, there goes the drag. Let's tighten this drag up a bit. Oh! really fighting. Oh, Justin. Oh shit. <laughs> Let's get this fish up. Feels pretty big actually right now. Oh. Justin, you got the net ready? Almost. Put the camera down for once. It's fighting exactly like a link card. It's fighting exactly like a link card. Doesn't auto lang, I will be surprised. It's coming up. Oh. Oh. Just, just, just. oh my god. Holy, that is a big lang. We'll get him in. We'll get him in the boat. Oh. Get him in the boat, hey? Yeah, oh man, there are we. There. Woo! Look at the mouth on that sucker. So, oh, oh, here, get it. Oh, that out. was barely look at, hooked. Look at the hook there. It's barely in there. We still got it in though. That is a big ling cod. It's probably about a 30 incher. 
10, 10, 12 pounds probably. So, okay, so we just got this guy off the hook. Look at the head on that guy, he's huge. He didn't feel as big as it is on the line. It is a 37 inch here. Didn't weigh it, but it's probably, I don't know, 12, 13 pounds. Good fight. We're gonna harvest this guy. Lane caught a really good eating. And uh, yeah, that came out of 155 feet of water. As soon as the bait hit the water, one jig up, smashed it. Had to drag pretty tight so I could get him out of the hole. Uh, they shake their head, it was a really fun fight. So, we'll pop this guy on ice. So where I live, you can only catch one ling per day and 10 per season. And as soon as you write it, you have to write it on your fishing license. Uh, so I'm gonna switch it up, just go for rockfish. Got this two ounce jig head with a grub. Same wire leader, same braid. Gonna get some up for lunch here. Been fishing out here for probably two hours. Got a couple like small rockfish, tiny, tiny in there. How's it feeling, Justin? Still coming up? Yeah. Still got him? You still got him? Yeah, I think so. Alright, get the net. Oh, it's a decent rockfish. Oh, would have bet it was a link cod. Alright, well, that'll be the catch and cook probably. Bring that guy in the boat. There we go. That was on a, I don't know, a six inch Berkeley grub in like that pink and white color on a two ounce JK. It's pretty good, eh? We just uh, pulled up here on this nice little beach. Justin's gonna grab some firewood. We're gonna get the catch and cook going. Fillet that rockfish up. He got me pretty good. They have really venomous barbs. And if you get stung by one, oh man, they hurt. It feels like a thousand bee stings. So we're here on this beach, Whaler's Beach, uh, tied up. Gonna clean this rockfish and have it for lunch over the open fire. Should be fun. So you just want to cut behind the head. I'm probably gonna skip this part because it'll take a while, and I don't want you guys to watch like 400 hours of me cleaning a fish. But it's pretty much the same as cleaning any other fish. I like to de-skin my rockfish because the skin's kind of tough. But I will come back to you after the fish is filleted. So, got the two sides off this guy. He had a couple worms in him, so I had to cut around them, so we didn't really get that much meat in it off it. Ooh, we have no spices or butter with us today, so I forgot it. So we're just gonna wrap these guys in tinfoil and try rockfish without any seasoning. Fire breaking down pretty good, we're just gonna toss the fish on. Probably about 15 minutes and fluff once in the middle and it should be pretty good. So just lay it on top. Right. Watch it. Alright, just took her off the fire. Ooh, hot. Ooh. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. That's good. Alright, we're gonna first bite here. Hands a little sandy. Didn't bring any forks either. Seem to be forgetting a lot of stuff today. Let's try this unseasoned. Oh, it's hot. Pretty good. Better with seasoning, but it actually got pretty good flavor. A little smoky. So we're gonna finish eating this, get back on the boat, and head home. All right. So today, just finished cleaning the boat. Me and Justin went out to Finless and Arm, Sandwich Inlet. Dropped some swim baits, buzz bombs. Justin behind the camera caught five little rockfish, no bigger than this. And then we got a decent sized rockfish and. This sling cod, the official weight on this guy is 13.90 pounds, 37 inches, good fish.